The swing goes here. The swing goes here. I don't have that in the budget, <laughs> so that's not really gonna work out very well. Yep, thousands of dollars sitting right here. We are really heavy consumers of power, unfortunately. I've got two kids that are both into gaming. Between the four of us, we have four laptops. We often have our TV going. Carter has a full-on gaming desktop that is a power-hungry beast. Here recently, we're running the air conditioner because we're in this marina. So we've had some questions recently that um, kind of imply that some of you guys are uh, very excited to see us leave the dock and spend some time out on the water. And believe me, we share your excitement. We want to get off the dock and we want to go. We have a plan, but the problem is right now, especially with the cost of fuel, and that's why I've taken you on this little field trip here around the marina, unless I run the generator, which I really don't want to do, we have found without trying to make any efforts to conserve. Now that's a big point. If we conserve, we could probably squeeze out a little more, but our batteries will last us just under two days. And that doesn't sound like much, but again, we are very heavy users, consumers of electricity. And we plan for that. We've got lots of recharge sources, but this right here is going to be a game changer for us. This right here. Any guesses what that is? I'll let you look at it as I walk away. We have been waiting forever for this. And part of the problem has been supply chain issues. Part of the problem has been money because that back there is very expensive. Something that we had to budget for and save for. So that being said, this is a really good opportunity to welcome aboard a new patron. It feels like we're picking up one a week, which is so <laughs> unbelievably awesome. Sheila and Paul Burns, thank you so much for joining our crew. And thank you to all of our other patrons. We really, really appreciate you. And we've had a renewed interest in our lithium battery bank, which is totally part of the theme of this video. I've added a post to our Patreon page that is uh, frequently asked questions about our lithium bank, and um, it's not all inclusive, and we're gonna be adding to it. So if you have an interest in doing something like this on your boat, it's totally doable. Click over to Patreon. Like I said, we, we only have about a day and a half, maybe two days of battery power has been our biggest limitation. But today, we're going to start the process of changing that. It's not straightforward. It's never gonna be straightforward, because because it's an old boat and everything is a retrofit. And if I were to hire this out, I'm sure I'd pay five times as much, but I'm gonna do it in true Corey fashion. I'm sure some people are going to say, that's not marine standard. I've heard it all already before, but that's okay, because we're gonna get this done. Today, we're gonna start the brain operation of our entire solar system. Later in the video, I'll tell you what that is, because that is going to finish everything for us. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. The next step in getting everything in place for the solar install is this board. So we have a compartment down in Carter's cabin. There's like a little nook we call the closet. It's not really a closet. It's only about two and a half feet tall and about two and a half feet wide. This is where the MPPTs are going to go. And when we mount the MPPTs, they say that they need to be on a fire retardant surface. And so I don't really have that. We're going to go ahead and lay up a couple of layers of glass, but just for the flame retardant. That's probably going to look a little on the ugly side. So we're going to paint it and then we'll mount our MPPTs, um, the shutoffs, fuses, anything else that we need. Day. I've got the board done, edges trimmed, and I've given it a good sanding already. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and lay up some paint on this. I'm just going to use some Rust-Oleum type paint, and then we'll get our MPPTs laid out and the switch module. The 
paint is a little bit tacky still, um, but it's dry to touch. So in a couple hours, it'll be really good to go. But we're starting to get everything lined up here. Um, these are gonna be the shot off switches. I'm going to build a bezel, a basil, bezel. I don't know, it's gonna sit up a little bit and the wires are gonna be behind it. And then um, these are the MPPTs that we bought Gosh, I don't know, a year ago, two years ago? ago? We bought them a yeah. long time ago. We knew we were gonna be spending a lot of money when we bought the boat, and we started buying things ahead of time, like solar panels and MPPTs. These are for our big solar panels that are gonna go on the arch. We're gonna go ahead and place these on here, but we are not, we don't have our arch. It's hopefully on the way soon. The so. arch is currently being fabricated. Yeah. <laughs> it's because of supply shortages, they are they are building as the orders come in and it's gonna be a few weeks. Yeah. This is for our Bemini top. So we're gonna have two of the flexible panels bind into one of these. So we're entertaining the idea of adding two more panels on top of the Bemini. However, um, we paid 155 for 110 watt panels. And we looked the other day and the same panel that we bought a year ago is now 370, I think yeah. it's 376. So, yeah. More than double. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so. All right, next is I gotta build this switch basil. Basil? Bezel? I don't know what you call it. I gotta build a thing for the switches. Okay, I've got the bezel marked out. This is taking me a couple of hours, I'm embarrassed to say. I've got a template that is going to ride on here with this little uh, like shelf. It's gonna ride on here like this. I've got a mark right here that I will line up with these marks. You can see. And this is all gonna make sense in a second. I'm going to take my router, set the depth, and that is going to ride around in here. It's gonna make a lot of sawdust, so I'll do it out front so the sawdust falls overboard. It's just wood. These guys here, which look like this, they need to they need to sit recessed. So you can see a uh, a trial attempt that I did down here on this end, and this guy is gonna sit recessed like that, but we decided that we wanted them to be this way, so I've reconfigured everything, and we're going to go ahead and router these out. Okay, so I'm building this board here to be independent. I wanna get this all wired in so that all I have to do is plug in the solar panels as we install them. The way that I'm going to do that is with these guys. I found these on Amazon. By the way, I'll have links to all of this in the video description, everything that I'm using. And uh, I'm gonna get this board all wired up. So we'll have a set of these here. So this is for the solar panels coming in. They're gonna run through the switch. They're gonna go to their individual MPPT. The other thing I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier, rather than have these lumped red and black, I think I'm gonna go red, black, red, black, red, black. Keep these wires grouped together a little easier and I don't have lots of like wires like flailing around in there. We're taking advantage of the heat to dry some laundry and it's drying really fast, which is awesome. So um, here we are. This is the brain. This is the final result of my work here. Now I have covers for these bus bars. We can shut off each solar panel individually with the switch bezel here. And then it runs to the MPPTs and then out of the MPPTs to these circuit breakers. 
and then from the circuit breakers they're going to the bus bars and these will run leads to the battery bank the other thing that you can't see here is we will have inline fuses attached at each solar panel so um, lots of redundancy actually this is done so um, let's get it installed I'm really happy with the way it's turned out I think it looks good I'm sure there's somebody out there that's gonna type into the keyboard oh you should have done it this way or that way back away from the keyboard this is inside Carter's room so this is the starboard aft cabin and we've got this area here this is where the batteries used to be and a previous owner poured some epoxy here which was probably a good idea because they were housing really gigantic lead acid batteries but we've got this big wall here that you can see lots of equipment has been bolted to over the years this right here is where we're going to put our brain and as I pull back you can see there's a very tight opening that I need to get that through all right guys we got it Let's see if this is gonna show up. Look at that, beautiful. Easy to get to, easy to work on. Now we just need to install the solar and the wires are gonna run into this and plug right in. And the other thing I need to do is run wires from this to the batteries. So another question I have that I thought maybe someone out there can help me with, um, a way to configure this. Um, I expect this to generate some heat and we have a vent already in here and i'm wondering if the little mppts that i have that are 100 20 they have an area for load am i able to put like a computer fan on that load and then set it up with a with the temperature sensor much like i did on the freezer um and then it'll be just autonomous when these are putting out heat or you got fans running on them to help keep them cool so if any of you have done something like that leave me a note down in the comments i'd love to talk to you about it um, I think I probably do have enough power to run a little computer fan and I can definitely wire it up with one of those um, digital switches so when the temperature hits a certain range we can turn it on and off it'll be autonomous and then in the space there's also a vent because this is where the lead acid batteries were previously so they needed to be vented to the outside so um, sounds to me like that might work out really well um, I don't know what do you think Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna put a link right here to a playlist of all of our videos so far. There's not that many, but be warned, the first ones are pretty rough. Maybe even embarrassing. All right, catch you later.